What actually happens during mitosis is one of the most amazing aspects of cell life. Cell division that results in two genetically identical daughter cells occurs very quickly, but involves five separate phases or steps. Phase 1 is called prophase. During prophase, duplicated chromosomes are visible, and mitotic spindles begin to form. Phase 2 is the permetophase. During permetophase, proteins called kinetochore form around the cell centromere. Phase 3 is metaphase. During metaphase, the nuclear envelope breaks down, and the spindle fibers attach to the sister chromatids. Phase 4 is anaphase, when the sister chromatids form two sets of chromosomes as they are pulled apart by spindle fibers. The fifth and final phase of mitosis is telophase. During telophase, the nuclear envelope reforms, but two nuclei form within the cell. Then the cell separates into two cells, during a process known as cytokinesis. After mitosis is complete, the cell enters the G0, G0, phase, which is where the cell remains until it wants to divide again. After the G0 phase, the cell enters the G1, S and G2 phases. During G1, the cell prepares for the S phase. During the S phase replication of DNA happens and during the G2 phase the cell grows in size, adding more cytoplasm and organelles. After the G2 phase the cell re-enters prophase. Let's take a look at the whole mitosis process. First the duplicated chromosomes are visible, and mitotic spindle begin to form. Then proteins called kinetochore form around the centromere. Next, the nuclear envelope breaks down, and the spindle fibers attach to the sister chromatids. Then the sister chromatids form two sets of chromosomes as they are pulled apart by spindle fibers. Finally, the nuclear envelope reforms, and two nuclei form within the cell. After mitosis there are two daughter cells with identical chromosomes, 